Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, welcome to PTG uh, 2017 full year result presentation. And um, today uh, we are going to present um, on the performance, on the overall business and financial performance. So this year uh, we are celebrating our uh, three decades um, and it's uh, full of the energy, full of the um, determination and full of the opportunities. So today I'm with Ms. Pachanok Warasak Yotin, our assistant to v EVP of Accounting and Finance Department. And I'm Sawitri Tantra Ampai, Investor Relation Manager. So if you have any questions during uh, our, in our presentation, you can send us an email right away or send us to, to um, this channel right away and we will answer after our presentation. So for the headline, we will start with our outlook for 2018, um, 2017, the uh, reflection on the uh, industry overview, on the operational performance, and also on the financial performance of the year. So there are many topics uh, that we want to cover. So um, I like to uh, tell, uh, uh, touch a bit, of, touch a bit on on PTG introduction for you to to um, give you an, a detail for what we are doing right now. Um, we are the fastest growing re oil retail operator in Thailand. So, um, in terms of number of stations, we had grown from uh, rank 6th in 2010 to rank 2nd in 2015. And this year, by the end of this year, we expect to rank 1st um, in terms of number of stations in the country. So we strongly believe in the power of networks. So not only uh, oil retailer that we are doing, but we also doing other business too. Um, we, we have service station that includes with the oil station, LPG stations. We also doing the F&B, food and beverage um, business. We also operate um, JV with other partners, the strong partners to do the auto care services. And we also doing the um, renewable energy business. Okay, so let's start with the service station. Currently, last year, 2017, we have the total of 1,969 locations. That includes um, the oil and also the LPG stations. Uh, by the end of this year, we expect to reach at least uh, 2,000 stations. Um, as I told, the F&B business, we own and operate uh, Pantai Coffee. Um, uh, right now, we have close to one, 130 locations. And by the end of this year, <coughs> we plan to expand to 230 and uh, we acquired uh, Coffee World last year. Um, we expect to expand to 100 locations by the end of this year. We also own and operate uh, CVS under uh, brand MaxMart. And by the end of this year, we plan to increase to 160 locations. And MaxMart, um, it's on the, uh, L, uh, the PT stations um, inside the um, uh, service stations. So next, the Pro Truck, um, the first auto care uh, services for a big truck uh, in Thailand. So we expand to, uh, we, we are going to expand to 10 locations by the end of this year. Also Max Cam, the first rest area in Thailand. Um, we are also going to expand to 10 locations by the end of this year. Auto bags, we JV with with um, auto bags seven, the number one uh, Japanese um, service service um, auto cares in in Japan, and we plan to add to fifty locations uh, by the end of this year. Um, about uh, thirty locations will be located in uh, in the PT station, 
and the rest will be located outside PT stations. Um, next, the PT Maxiton loop change. Um, we are as uh, as we have our own brand PT Maxiton. Uh, right now, we are going to expand to um, loop change. So we we plan to increase third to thirty locations inside PT stations. And the la the last one um, renewable energy we are going to open um, the palm complex by the end of this this uh, by this month um, which will operate um, the produce the biodiesel which will be mixed in uh, diesel product to sell through our PT stations all the service all the products <coughs> will be linked um, with the PT Max card, the loyalty program that we launched um, close to five years ago, uh, five years already, and we are the number one in terms of number of members uh, in oil industry. Okay, so with the um, technological environment right now, we launched the Max Rewards application last year um, for our our customers to easily access to their account to uh, see their um, points they can redeem their points um, through under that fingertips and they can also manage their um, information through smartphone and you can download um, it's called max reward um, available on android and ios as well so we seek more product and services to make our customers life easier okay okay so what's news uh, for this year so we are launching um, the pantai drive through um, we can say that it's the first drive through um, um, in bangkok in bangkok area and here's uh, the outside look of the uh, drive through and here's the inside. Um, it's more like um, it's more like trendy, you know, um, user friendly, and um, available to serve um, our customers. Here's the coffee world, um, which we acquired um, last July, uh, July two thousand seventeen, and before we acquired. Um, Coffee World had, had been in Thailand for more than 20 years and um, we, we joke about it that um, it's like one, one size fits all, um, every location looks the same. Um, so after we acquired, uh, we, changed, we changed the look um, to be more like younger, to attract more younger generation, to be more like brighter and we we want to to from the uh, one size fit all we change it to lifestyle coffee cafe um, so um, the flagship is going to open um, on the fifth floor of central world by uh, april this this year and we we want everyone to to come and take a look at our new image um, new uh, menu and you will find it more like more attractive okay so we start to to see the positive um, returns for for coffee world uh, because after we we acquired uh, we change the image we rebrand it we change the marketing strategy we also change all the um, operations for so beside uh, building additional uh, income so we also focus on um, cost saving as well um, so we in this project the solar rooftop we started to we studied for almost two years already and at that time the cost the cost very high but now um, the cost was uh, dropped from um, the technology te technology development so from 120k baht per kilowatt right now uh, reduced to 35k um, 35k per kilowatt so it's worth to 
invest right now. So we start um, two sites, and um, we are doing some research about um, about the project. We did we we already did the pilot uh, project, and we for this project it saves about five hundred baht per per day per site, and or it's equal to. It's equal to uh sorry five hundred baht uh, yeah five hundred baht so it's uh, equal to one hundred and eighty k baht per year that we can reduce for our electricity costs and we have spaces to be able to apply uh, this project we forecast about five about five hundred locations that we can uh, expand the solar rooftop so. In here, um, yeah, we uh, we can install inside uh, PT stations, and also um, it it can be um, energy saving and also space utilization, and we ex can explore and um, doing some research more on on charging station and energy storage too. Okay, here's here's what news this year, and for the timeline. So by by this quarter, we will start running the palm complex, the renewable energy um, business, and um, by by uh, April, um, we will have the flagship uh, in Coffee World in the Central World, and the in second quarter we plan to launch a new project that will support um, our core business. Between uh, second quarter and third quarter, we will install the first Pantai Drive Two, which we s it's supposed to be um, about May um, this year. So by uh, third quarter to fourth quarter, we are going to um, go after LPG business. Right now, we already have LPG um, stations, but what we looking right now, it's more like LPG households. Uh, with which we see a lot of opportunities in in this business and another one we are going to um, do some um, negotiation with another new project too so here's the total of the timeline for this year okay. so our target for 2018 uh, our sales <coughs> volume will increase 20 to 25 percent um, our EBITDA we expect to increase about forty to forty five percent from from first from the sales volume that increase and second from the market mar marketing margin that um, look like that it comes back to normal now. So and for the networks we include all everything the the oil business, the food and beverage locations, LPG locations all to look, all include together. Uh, more than 2,700 touch points. Okay, and for the investment budget for this year, we plan to invest to about four to five billion baht this year. So it can divide it into three parts: the core business, including with the current business, uh, like um, oil business. For the non-oil business, uh, for the non-oil part. Um, about five to f 500 to 700 million baht, including with the uh, food and beverage business. And for new business that will um, be able to support our current business, we um, we set the target of 500 to to one billion baht for 2018. Okay. Okay. So let's go over the industry overview. Uh, for the Thailand consumption, in 2017, um, the total consumption include all every channel. It's uh, 333 um, k liter for um, to 2017. So the sales, the volume increased three percent year on year over year, um, which increase less than what it used to be in 2016 compared to 2015 which increased six percent that's because 
um, the um, slow growth economy uh, in the grassroots economy and also um, that's a lot of rain um, rainy uh, the rain c came very early last year and stayed longer than our expectation for last year too so um, that resulted in um, slow growth in the total consumption th in Thailand okay okay so let's take a look at the market share so um, when we first uh, IPO in 2013 we we had <coughs> market share of about 5% so um, last year we reached 10.2 percent market share, include every channel all together, all together. And um, amazingly, in um, January we reached 10.7 um, percent already. Uh, so we expect to get to rank second in 2018. Okay. Okay. If we look at the oil retail side, uh, we are number three in retail. If we only look at the retail side because more than 94% of total sales volume come from retail. So the same trend, slow growth in re oil retail consumption as well. But if you look at the, uh, the line chart on the right hand side, um, you will see that we are the only company that in, um, increased um, sharply um, from first Q16 to fourth Q17. Okay, for the LPG auto consumption, um, reduced um, drop tremendously, continuously drop um, last year, drop 10% year on year because you know the, the price of the LPG gas and oil gas, uh, the gap is not that different. So people switch um, between LPG and benzene products. So, um, but because um, our customers, they can collect point both LPG uh, at LPG station and also at um, our oil stations. And we are we can say that we are the only oil company that um, our customers can select or can collect both point from LPG and oil. So we see the increasing trend in in LPG business. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at PTG sales volume. So the total sales volume increased 18% um, in 2017. Um, so if we look at only retail channel, um, the retail channel increased 24%, <coughs> but um, the wholesaler, wholesale channel uh, decreased about 30%. Because we are very focused on the retail uh, channel, so that's why we uh, add more product and services into our PT stations. For the LPG volume, um, our sales volume increased to 62 million liter, increased 111 percent year on year, and we expect the same growth this year for LPG as well. Okay. Okay. So for same store sales growth. In terms of petrol stations, our same store sales still increased um, to uh, 0 0.22 million liter per station per month, which increased about 5% um, year on year. It's increased more than the total Thailand consumption, even though we expand uh, our service station uh, very fast, per year, uh, very um, more like 300 stations per year. For the LPG same store sales, it's also increased 50% year on year. And we also um, expect that it will grow and reach um, 100K liter, um, million liter, uh, 100K liter per station per month for the LPG same store sales growth. Okay. So, Okay, that's the opera operational performance for two 2017. And for the next part um, in financial performance, uh, Ms. Pachanok will um, give you the detail on, on the financial ones. Thank you, Kun Sabri. And let's move on to the financial performance 
uh, for the year 2017. Uh, I will start with the total revenue, um, which uh, consists of sales from oil and non-oil products. And services from transportation, uh, warehouse management, and maintenance services. Such revenue uh, for the year 2017 increased by 31% from the previous year. Rising from the sale volume and retail price, the revenue from non-oil business portion, uh, which include LPG, uh, logistics, convenience store, uh, coffee shop, uh, we can uh, rental income and others was 3% increase from the prior year at 2%. The merit majority increasing in the portion of uh, non oil business is um, LPG and coffee business due to the growth in the volume of sale from the existing uh, and new branches and also the acquisition from uh, the acquisition Coffee World in the third quarter 2017. The gross profit of non-oil business increased to 8% um, from 5% last year. Although the sale portion is only 3%, it because uh, it has a better margin from uh, it, it had a better margin uh, compared to the petroleum products. Referring to the information about the average marketing margin of gasoline, gas or haul diesel in Bangkok in 2017 from the Energy Planning uh, and Policy Office of Thailand was lower than that um, compared to the year 2016. However, the selling and administrative expense or SDNA are still increasing due to the high expansion in both oil and non-oil business. Um, however, um, this led to the EBITDA increase in uh, the lower rate compared to the previous year and the net profit dropped 15%. If we exclude the dilution gain of AMA Marine, which issued um, newly or newly ordinary share from the net profit last year. The, the net profit will um, decrease only 9%. This is shows the financial ratios uh, from our performance, which decline in both profitability ratios and efficiency ratios, were from the lower marketing margin than last year and the higher selling and administrative expense due to the expansion period. The slightly increase in the cash cycle this year was from the longer um, average payment period due to the fact that we purchased more goods with credit term. And the big portion of the assets were uh, the property plans and equipment the investment in other businesses and uh, the lease whole rise from the continued as expansion with the internal and external cash flows. Um, this effect to the higher borrowing uh, from financial, instit financial institution, both short term and long term loans, and led to the higher uh, interest bearing debt this year. So that's all for the financial performance of our company. And okay. if you have any question, you can ask me. Okay, okay. so um, that's one qu uh, first question. How much did you pay for Coffee World? Um, what valuation did you pay? What's the capex set, set aside for the respective business segment, break even and payback period? Um, and last one, breakdown of margins in different business segments. So we paid uh, 205, two, two, uh, 205 million baht for acquiring Coffee World. Uh, okay. So, um, okay. Mm. okay, so uh, 
after we acquired, before we acquired Coffee World, we see that we can turn around this company uh, easily with um, small adjustment in um, like, for example, when, when we pulled the um, fits like coffee beans all together with with Pan Thai coffee or like when we buy a lot of uh, plastic cups or store together combine pull pull all the products together so that's why we see the positive returns and um, um, and we we expect that we will see the, the positive returns um, this year by the end of this year okay so okay so for the capex um, okay so in in terms of the break even and, and payback period in terms of the oil business our payback our, our payback periods it's about three to uh, about four to five years uh, in in station business for the um, food and beverage business uh, very high profitability and f right now the Pantai coffee is not break even yet but um, we see um, the increasing uh, trend in the profit profit a bit in the bottom line and um, by the end of this year we expect to see um, the break even in in the uh, food and beverage business too okay for the uh, margin in terms of the oil business the gross profit margins only um, only seven percent mm -hmm. but for the um, food and beverage business um, the gross profits a, a lot of gross profit so if we combine together uh, it's more than 20 25 percent mm -hmm. for, for gross profit mm -hmm. if we combine the non oil business all together Okay. So, mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. If you have more questions, um, you can send us right now, or you can send us an email as well um, at ir at pt dot co dot th um, for the for for the answers for the Q and A. So, um, but with the operation in 2018 we are going to have a lot of new business that we expect to increase to two to three business why we want to increase the non oil business that's because um, the oil business very low margin but for the F&B business for example coffee business um, very profitable, very profitability, uh, profitable business, and um, yeah, we want to increase our net profit margin every year, and we want to stabilize our net profit, m net profit. So right now, um, as Miss Pachinok mentioned, that the cost, the the revenue from the non oil, it's only only um, two to three percent mm -hmm. but contribute to gross profit um, to eight percent mm -hmm. so um, we, w we want to diversify our business from oil business to to non-oil business so we expect our long-term um, five years plan we want our um, net profit margin from non oil part to increase to uh, 60% uh, in 2022 and by the end of this year we expect that um, with the non oil part for net profit um, portion should account to 20% that will come from um, the renewable business that we are um, start we are going to start the palm complex um, by this month 
And um, yeah, if you have any questions, send us an email and see you next time. Thank you. Yeah.